guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how to get this everyday kind of summer look we're going to start off by combing our eyebrows with the spoolie to fill in the eyebrows i'm going to use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow in chocolate we want to start from the beginning of the eyebrow and kind of put the product all the way through the eyebrow all the way going to the tail of the brow just to make sure that you are filling in any sparse areas For the very front of your eyebrow, you want to go in with very light strokes just to mimic hairs. And again, we're going to go in with the spoolie one more time just to blend out the product. To clean up the eyebrow, I'm going to be going in with the Sonia Kasia Quad of Concealers. And I'm just going to trace the brow just to make sure that there was no extra product coming out of the shape of your eyebrow just for a more sharper look. And for this step, you want to make sure to have a really, really small synthetic brush. With a brush with no product, you're going to blend out the concealer just to make sure there's no harsh line. For my face primer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm going to apply this all over my face, but mainly where I have pores. For my foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And I am in the shade 104 Golden Beige. And I'm going to apply this with a Real Techniques, I believe it's a foundation brush. But I'm not 100% sure just because the neem has faded on the brush. But I'm going to try to link it down below in the description box. For this step, you want to make sure to really blend out the foundation very seamlessly all over the face. For an even more flawless look, I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and I'm going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to tap it all around my face. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand and I'm going to apply this on my under eye area, kind of going from my nose all the way up to my temple. Not only is this concealer going to cover any dark areas, but it's also going to act as a highlight. So I'm going to apply it on my forehead, on my chin, and on my cupid's bow. I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to zoom you guys in all the way up to my eyes just so you guys can see the eyeshadow better. For my base, I'm going to use Soft Ochre from MAC and I'm going to apply this with a flat synthetic brush all over the lid. After you apply your base, you want to go in with a matte white or bone colored eyeshadow just to apply it all over the lid so that when you apply your other eyeshadows you have a better and smoother application. For my first eyeshadow color I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro palette one of the shades called taupe and I'm going to take it with a very fluffy blending brush and I'm going to carefully apply this all over the crease area. You want to make sure to really blend out the color just so that you won't have 
any harsh lines and it won't be too dark. So you could kind of build it up to the color that you want. For my lid, I'm going to go in with the Milani Baked Eyeshadow in the shade Bella Champagne number 16. And I'm going to apply this with a flat brush all over the lid. To intensify the eyeshadow color a lot more, you want to go ahead and spray your brush with Fix Plus and of course go into the product one more time. Now take a brush that has no product on it and just blend out the colors together. I'm going to go in with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply it on my crease area where I applied the other eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie from makeup geek as well and i'm going to apply this a little bit on the upper crease just for a transition of color now you want to get some concealer with a brush and just sharpen out the edge of your eye just for a more sharp look you want to make sure to really blend out the concealer just so that you won't have a harsh line now for my eyelashes, I'm going to use the dual eyelash glue and I'm going to take these eyelashes that I have been worn before and they don't have a brand but they're in the style 747 small. To finish off the eyelashes, I'm going to apply mascara to the top and bottom lashes and then after that I'm just going to curl the eyelashes together just so that you won't see my real lashes and they can stick together. Going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm going to take the banana color and just apply it everywhere that I applied concealer. To set my whole face, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden. And I'm going to just apply it with a big face brush and I'm going to apply it all over the face. Going back into the Anastasia Contour Kit, I'm going to get the shade Havana and I'm going to use it as a bronzer and to contour my cheekbones. For a cheekbone highlight, I'm going to use MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter in the shade Global Glow and I'm going to apply it with a fan brush on the top of the cheekbone. To contour my nose, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit shade in Fawn and I'm going to apply it with a fluffy brush. You want to pick up a clean blending brush and just blend out that contour shade just so that you won't have any harsh lines on your nose. For this step, you want to get another clean brush and you're just going to dip it into the banana shade and just kind of clean up and blend out the two colors together. Go ahead and pick up a clean
face brush and just blend out that contour and just blend out also the rest of your For face. my lips, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade 968 Pinkerbell and I'm going to go all over my lips. And for the very last step, you want to just get another clean brush and blend out the sides of the eyeshadow for a more smooth finish. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked my video. Just make sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching.